she would be able to get her because uh, Tracy's been hooking, trying to hook Grandma up with other senior citizens that are single, just like her. Right. So uh, I start the call to Grandma Irene as, uh, you know, a guy looking for love as well. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. The third time you guys have phone tapped Grandma Irene. Let's listen in. Hello? Hi, uh, I'm looking for Irene, please. That's me. Oh, hey, Irene. Uh, my name's Fulton. I uh, I met your granddaughter, Tracy, over at the supermarket a few days ago. Uh-huh. And uh, she said I should give you a call. Okay. I think uh, I would love to uh, set up something where you and I can get together and uh, see if, uh, you know, we hit it off. I saw your picture, and I think you are beautiful. I think you got the wrong number. No, 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 no. Irene, listen, uh, I am uh, 22 years old. I, uh, what? I go, you say 22? Did I hear you right? Yeah. 22? <laughs> Yes, 22 years old, soon to be 23 within the next two months. But I don't know if you know what a uh, gilf is, but I am totally thinking you're a gilf right now, so. A what? A gilf. What does that mean? No, don't worry about that. I think you and I should go out on a lovely date, could start off at the park. I'll get a nice loaf of bread and we could uh, feed the birds, and, you know, go out for some dinner. I, I heard you love pasta. You know, Who told you I love pasta? Your granddaughter did, of course. We had a long conversation. I know more about you probably than you even know. What do you mean you know more about me than... I know that you love to pick daisies on a Tuesday, as do I. And I would love to make love to you in those daisies one day. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, well, nothing. I'm just, I am... Do you know how old I am? Yes, I do. And I think that's what is attracting me more to you. The Why are you talk. girls your own age? Why are you on the older women for? Why? Because... What's wrong with you? I've heard you used to be a pinup model, and I think that is totally attractive. Get yourself a therapist instead of a new girlfriend. Listen, I heard you love Dr. Oz, and Dr. Oz says that you need sex in your life to keep on living. So I think, why not? Dr. Oz has a wife that's the same age that he is. Okay, well, maybe, you know, you and I could break the barrier of that. I think you and I could be a trend-setting couple. We could do great things. Listen, and you little pervert, I don't want you calling me anymore. I, uh, well, I don't want to meet you. I don't want to hear about your ideas. And hopefully you go find yourself a psychologist because you need help really need help i just baked a lovely cheesecake because i know that's your favorite and uh i think you would love to know the fact that i have two tickets to go see dr oz no i'm not going to dr i'm not no i'm not going to dr oz leave me alone just stay away from me i'm not some kind of whore that you can buy off with you. Dr. Oz tickets and a cheesecake. I think if you get to experience uh the tickler from me i think you would change your mind the what the tickler what the hell is that? Hey, Grandma. Tracy, what are you doing on the phone? Tracy, are you with that pervert right now? Get away from him! Run! I wouldn't say that I'm I'm with him right now. No, uh, uh, Irene, uh, she's not with me. Uh, because you're a pervert. I wouldn't want her near anywhere near you. Now's a good time to tell you you've been phone tapped yet again. Oh. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god. Why don't you get anything not... better to do than keep doing this to me? You can change your mind a little bit when you grab those Dr. Oz tickets, Grandma. I don't know. I didn't. Uh, I wasn't going to go with some person oh. to see Dr. Oz. <laughs> <laughs>